Okay, we're going to get into the painting phase of this thing now. And remember, now, rubber is different from wood. It's because wood absorbs the, uh, the paint, where rubber doesn't do that. Uh, so, you're, we've got a little water over here, but we're not going to be using as much water. We're going to use a little bit just to get the paint. But uh, I'm going to use a gray for the hair. I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. I'm going to do a little, kind of a little special effect with it. And all I'm doing, see, is just painting. And you can use the, the, uh, the paint a little bit thicker with uh, this rubber because, like I said, it doesn't, uh, it doesn't absorb paint. It's going to take a little bit longer to dry than the wood because it, it does not soak it up like, um, like the wood, the wood does. It's not as uh, porous a uh, material as the wood is. I'm going to paint the hair a gray starting off with. All right, there we go. Now, I tell you what, if your daughter um, if, or you or whoever uses a hair dryer, I tell you what, a hair dryer is the best thing in the world to use after you paint some. It really dries it pretty quick. Uh, my stepdaughters have a, a hair dryer. I have. I don't use one because I, I don't. You know, it'd be a waste of time for me to have a hair dryer with as little as I have. But uh, so we're using. Uh, well, man, I tell you what, it's a, it's a golf ball, all right. We're using a little gray for the. Uh, for the hair, and then I'm going to get into my uh, uh, a few napkins here. Now, I'm going to use my flesh tone for the face. I'm going to go around my face with my flesh tone. See what I'm doing? Now you may have to give it several coats, which you probably will, because remember when you go over a uh, darker color with a lighter color, it's not usually not going to cover as as quickly or as good as as you might want to do. So, like with the flesh tones, you probably going to have to go over it several times. Let me get a little bit larger brush here. And just sort of going over it. And like I said, it takes a little bit longer to dry when you're going over this rubber because it's going to take a little bit longer than normally it would to dry because, it, like I said, it does not, uh, the acrylics don't uh, soak into the, um, did you see? There's our flesh tones. Take. Use a little. Down here. OK. 
Okay. Now, as you see, it's, it's gradually giving it a lot more of a personality than just that one color. See, and it always does. Painting something always does. It always gives it a more of a uh, of a of a whoa. <laughs> that can happen, especially with mole hands. No harm none, though. Not too long. But like I said, if you can obtain a, a hair dryer from your daughter or uh, grand, or just go buy you one. You know, like I said, you know, just go cheap hair dryer and uh, use it. It really, um, get a little bit more gray in there. Now you see? See that? Make sure that you get no flesh tone in there. Then as it's drying, just add a little bit more and you see it it's slowly coming out. Now, while it dries a little bit, let me show you that. We're going to take our white. 